What up, science? It's your pal Michael Swain, and I suggest welcoming Asgardians immediately, maybe, because I'm about to explain how Thor's Bifrost works and might actually be real. So if Loki or Odin suddenly appear next to you after the end of this video, you'll totally have something to talk about. You remember the Bifrost? It's the network of cosmic tunnels connecting the various realms of the MCU cosmos, and it looks kinda like the Rainbow Road level from Mario Kart. Thor and company use it to quickly travel between Asgard and Earth, among other places. The idea is a direct lift from Norse mythology, and the concept of different realms all connected to one another by these mystical tunnels or bridges. In the myths, the Bifrost specifically connects Midgard, our realm, with that of the Aesir, aka Asgard. You might recognize the same setup from God of War or the VR game Asgard's Wrath. The MCU Bifrost, aside from serving as the backdrop for a reckless underutilization of Idris Elba, served as a handy way to get Thor to Earth. But in the first Thor movie, there's an implication that the mystical tunnels are actually scientific reality. Einstein Rosen Bridges. Like an Einstein Rosen Bridge? More like a rainbow bridge. What's an ER bridge? It's a theoretical, i.e. not real or proven, structure that consists of two wormholes at disparate points in space-time connected by a tunnel. Sound familiar? Einstein Rosen Bridges, in theory, could connect two points in space, two points in time, even connect two different dimensions, in theory. In theory, communism works, in theory. So why get excited? Well, you see, the science she is just beginning. While ER bridges haven't been proven to exist yet or even spotted in the wild, scientists have long observed strange linkages between distant galaxies that up until recently went unexplained. I'll explain. A team of scientists and astronomers at the University of Iowa recently found direct evidence of a giant pipeline of gas called a cosmic filament, feeding an enormous galaxy and connecting mind-bogglingly distant points in space. These connections, and others, could explain a mystery that's confounded science for decades. Why certain galaxies, so distant from one another that they shouldn't be connected in any way, seem to move in tandem. Quasars align, red dwarf galaxies park themselves just so next to their larger counterparts, things that should be impossible given our current understanding of the universe. The discovery of these cosmic filaments not only expands our understanding of how galaxies form in the first place, it undermines stuff that we thought we knew. Take the cosmological principle, the long-held idea that the universe is ultimately a big homogeneous soup, pretty much the same everywhere if you take a large enough sample of it. Well, large-scale structures of dark matter knots and sheets and cosmic gas filaments connecting everything together would completely fly in the face of that idea. It also means that the old argument of whether the universe will expand forever or contract back into a little nub one day just got a lot more complex. Galaxies aren't just a bunch of dots floating around spewing gravity at one another. They're connected in complicated and fascinating ways that we're only just beginning to understand. For all we know, the universe could actually be shaped like an old carburetor jury-rigged together with straps of cosmic gas and bits of dark matter. I mean, earlier I said wormholes could take you to another dimension, and I can't even fully imagine what that means. Speaking of other realities, scientists are currently working on proving the existence of a fifth dimension that only particles can traverse. That might finally explain what dark matter actually is. And plus, if Ant-Man could shrink down enough, I bet he could squeeze in there. And of course, I guess if you were a godlike entity with the ability to survive travel through black holes and quasars, maybe you could hitch a ride on a cosmic filament and pop into the nearest proto-galaxy. There, brought it back to Thor. It's nice to know that out there in deep space or even in another dimension, the Thunder God has a lifeline he can follow back home. Hot galactic gas. But for me, the real takeaway here is that our universal neighbors may be incredibly far away, but somehow, despite it all, our stars and theirs are dancing together. They affect one another, against all odds. I think that's pretty cool. If you think that's pretty cool, make sure to tune in for the next episode of What's Up Science on IGN. 
You can find all of our science and gaming and entertainment coverage pretty much anywhere. IGN.com, YouTube, across social media, even on your smart TV. Check you next time, Sirenos. Thank <laughs> you.